Carla. Carla, it's good to cry. It's cleansing. Try. At this point of the service, I would like Mrs. Lebec to kindly step forward. I'm sorry, I, I meant his wife to step forward. <laughs> I meant his current wife. Uh-oh. Come on, Carla, Carla. Stop hurting Cliff now. All right. Cliffy, I'm not gonna let you take advantage of that poor girl, okay? Oh, come on, stop being such a big baby. You're just mad because uh, she likes me and not you. Carla, hurt Cliff. Oh, hey, no, 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 no. She's having a good time, that's all. Man. Come on, Cliff, she's a nice girl. She's got a few problems, and you're just using that knowledge to get an easy roll on the hay. Well, duh. <laughs> come on, Cliff. You don't really care about her, admit it. Oh, come on now, of course I care about the girl. I mean, I'm the one who said she was prompt. You're a mailman. What the hell do you know about prompt? All right. That's it, Peterson. I'm training the art of self-defense. All postal carriers are. Oh, I'm really shaking, Cliff. What are you going to do, speed sort me? Hey, are you two fighting over me? Oh, no. I've broken up a wonderful friendship because I was selfishly thinking of nothing but my own burning womanly needs. <laughs> I hate myself. Now, this has gone on long enough. If I may intercede, you are mistaken. Two men were about to have a fight over you. Now, that should show you that you're worth having. You don't have to settle. You can pick and choose. You can be selective. You can go out with who you want to go out with. Who are you, and why are you so damned handsome? <laughs> you know, I'm really impressed you read my book. Mm, wow. I read it, too, in hardcover. <laughs> well, you should have waited for the paperback, saved a few bucks. Oh, I didn't buy it. I checked it out at the library. Oh, there go those royalties. <laughs> you know what I love about your book, the way you lay out that whole philosophy thing? Dare it, decide it, do it. That's just so memorable. Well, that was no accident. The common denominator is commitment. Plus, they all begin with D's. <laughs> yeah, well, the key is decisiveness. Mm. You know, that was always Rebecca's failing in school. She could never take a stand. She always had to ask what somebody else thought before she knew what she thought. But I've changed since then. Have you made a decision, ma'am? The rest of your party are halfway through their salads. <laughs> Is the swordfish fresh? It was when you started ordering. <laughs> Very good. That's the first time I've ever heard you take a stand without worrying about offending someone. You're a soulless pig of a rotten slut. Slut. <laughs> now I'm offended. I'm oh, sorry, I take it all back. Oh, don't, don't do that. I was just beginning to respect you. Oh, slut. Now you're just trying to kiss up. <laughs> oh, by the way, I read your uh, paper on President Carter. I liked it very much. You did? Thank you. In fact, I gave you an A. Thank you. Hey, prof. I'm giving you an A+. Plus. Thank you. Can I help you? Uh, a beer, please. Boy, you can't go home again. You really know that's true when you come back to a place you haven't seen in 20 years. Or when you lose your bus pass. <laughs> Two decades ago, my job took me to Alaska. This is the first time I've been back to Cheers since the 60s. Really? Ah, see those stairs? They used to go down the other side of that wall. Mm. And this floor, when I was here, it was all ugly green tile. Wow. I guess everything changes in 20 years. They've even changed the paneling. Where? Over there, behind Norm. <laughs> I did it. Yeah, I ate that test. It's gonna be on Jeopardy. Oh, yeah. Pretty exciting.
exciting, Clifford. Yeah, yeah, it's exciting, all right. You know, you know when people go on the show Jeopardy and they always tell us some little amusing anecdote? Huh, sure. Well, I was just standing over there thinking that maybe it would be good publicity for the bar if you could come up with a funny little blurb about Cheers. Clippy, I know. Why don't you tell about the time uh, we got that really bad keg of beer and everyone got sick all over the place? <laughs> no, 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 no. Remember uh, that glow-in-the-dark men's room fungus? <laughs> Now, how about the time we found that dead possum on the steps? <laughs> At least I hope that was a possum. I hate to think a rat could get that big. Man, this has been a hell of a couple of days, hasn't it? <laughs> you know, but everything turned out uh, for the best for everybody. You know, I mean, I, I learned a really good lesson about life. And um, I think Alice had a good time with, uh, you know, stuff you and she were doing all the time. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> And then, of course, you got all that great business information from her. Yeah. You know, actually, I never did get any advice from her. She kept saying she was going to give it to me, but then we ended up in bed. Afterwards, she said she was going to give it to me the next day, but we ended up in bed again. <laughs> you know, she never really told me anything. Now she's gone. Well, it's still been a hell of a couple of days. That slut. <laughs>